Georgia Fortunato. I'm Bethany. I'm Kristen. I'm Tracy. I'm Rita. I'm Miriam. I'm Carrie. I'm Ian. Hi, I'm Lisa. Kim Hamilton. And Laura Hirsch. Megan Graham. Grace Diaz. Lee Gaspar. Michelle Benet. Zalda Collins. Donna Pregon. Amanda Simino. Mary Reynolds. Sue Turkai. Brenda Borgod. This is my partner. Kristen Michelena. Jennifer Becchio. I am Miriam Shalcross Smith. And I am Amy Shalcross Hogan. And we're mother and daughter in business. I am a woman. Hear me roll in numbers too big. Hello there, and welcome to Woman's Business. My name is Dr. Marianne Shalcross smith known to most as Dr. Daycare. I would like to welcome you to my mentoring program designed to educating our community on issues facing working women. We'll be speaking to our guests in the area of arts, sciences, school, education, law, medicine, politics, and business, and also how it is to be a young woman, going to be a future woman in business. The goal of the show is to provide information that comes from your own personal experiences. And I bet you these three young ladies have a lot of personal experiences they can share with me today. And pass on this information to people watching, such as your own daughters, your nieces, your neighbors, your friends, your family. Much of the content will relate to the guest speaker's journey. And as you can see, they've had a pretty good journey, these three young women. And where they are going to choose to be their profession someday. And maybe if we can look back on this in 20 years, we'll see if the profession they picked today really was the profession they have. What they learned most about the process and what they wish they would have known before they began their journey. Since women-owned business is the fastest growing sector in our economy, we will close with a lesson learned. But I just want to let you know, when I was in high school, it's way back in the 70s, long time ago. Actually, I'm having my 45th class reunion in 2015. You have to get, get your picture in a yearbook. You ever know what the thing you have? You ever seen a high school yearbook? You ever seen one? I bet you anybody now that I mentioned it, you're going to be looking at a high school yearbook in the next six months. Your cousins or your neighbors might have one. It's a special book that when you're in high school, you put together. And then your picture usually goes where you live, what you studied and tells you a little bit about yourself. And I, because I'm going to a class reunion committee, I took up my yearbook, it says 1970 in the dinosaur age. I opened up to my picture and it said the three things I like to do would be, I was the president of the future teachers, I was the secretary for the future business leaders, and I was, I think, the treasurer to dramatics. So. I became a preschool teacher, infant toddler preschool teacher. That was right on. I had to pick this in 1969. Future business leader. I'm a definitely a businesswoman. I'm a woman in business. And dramatics, hopefully today you'll get the dramatic part of it because I haven't really figured that part out, okay? But maybe this is it, being on cable TV and being here with you all. So keep that in mind when you become a senior. Does anyone know what year you have to be in to be a senior? 11th or 12th grade. Rebecca's listening to this. What do you think grade is senior in high school? 11th or 12th grade? Let me help you out because we're going to put that. Rebecca and I are writing a book and we're going to put that in our new book. 12th grade, absolutely. So when you have a senior in high school, you're going to be able to have your own yearbook with all your friends. But right now, I want to learn a little bit about you, okay? So to my guest on the right of me is Paige Gouin. How are you, Paige? Good. Good. Tell me a little bit about you. Like, how old are you? I'm 11. 11. And what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade in what school? Glow Park School. What one? Glow Park. Oh, Glow Park. Oh, God. I love Glow Park School. It's a really good school. And who is your teacher? Mrs. LaPlante. Mrs. LaPlante. And what is your favorite subjects? Social studies. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's nice to hear from a future business leader. And tell me why that is your favorite subject. I just like learning about like past things. Really? It's just really interesting to me. What is one of the things you learned about the past page? Just one thing. What is one thing you'd like to learn about the past? Anything you thought about the past that you'd like to learn about? How they survived. How they survived. Really okay. Weird. That's a that's a good thing to keep in mind. And today, you know, when I was your age, I'm gonna do a lot when I was your age. You had to go to the library, you had to get a book, you had to open it, find the right page. Hopefully the book was in the library when you wanted it. Look it up. Today, guess what you just do? Get to someone's computer and you can Google that. You can probably say, how did people survive financially in the 1920s? And they'll probably have hundreds of ways they did that. Isn't that pretty cool? You've got to love education today. you got to love the computer. It's like 
information is like right at your fingertips. It's so pretty cool. I'm fascinated by it. I'm totally fascinated by it. So, let me hear about a little bit about your family page. Mom, dad, brothers, sisters, dogs, cats, fish. Can I say something about your mom or dad? Um, How about saying hi to your brother? Do you have a brother? Mm -hmm. How many? Three. Three brothers? Except I only live with two of them, though. Okay, so you have three brothers. How old are they? Do you know? Um, one's two and a half, one's 14, and one's 13. So you have a toddler and two teenagers. Wow. Any sisters? Well, I do have a stepsister. Yeah. But I have no clue where she is, and she's I think she's in Texas. Got it, in know. Texas. So she's in a different state at this time. Mm -hmm. So you want to say hi to your family? Because when they watch us, they're going to want to say know that you said hi to them. Hi. There you go. There you go. And over here to my left, I have Elizabeth Alves. Is that correct, Elizabeth? And what school do you go to? Nathaniel Green. Nathaniel Green. That's such a great school. Is that right on Smithfield Avenue in Pawtucket, Rhode Island? Yeah, it's a great school. It's got a, a beautiful, beautiful building. I love, I love that school when I go by. And I go by there all the time as I'm going to my doctor daycare office. So I go by that school all the time. It's a beautiful school. And what grade are you in? Second grade in your uh, woman's business? I'm totally impressed. Give me a high five. I think you're the youngest person I've ever had on woman's business. I'll never forget this ever, ever, Elizabeth. And who's your teacher? Miss Guys. Miss Guys. I think I might know Miss Guys, actually. She's a really good teacher. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is math. Math. So if I say to you, how much is two plus two? Four. Yeah, you got that down. And how about your family? Can I know a little bit about your mom and dad? Do you have any brothers or sisters? My brother is five years old. Okay. Is he in kindergarten yet? No. Next year? Yeah. So right now he's in pre-K, correct? Got that down. Preschool teacher should know that. Okay. And only one brother? Yes. Any sisters? No. So it's two in the family. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And want to say hi to anyone out there? Mom, dad? Hi. You have a special guest today here, don't you? Who's here today? Dad. That's a great support, having your dad here. And I want to tell you, in all the years I've been doing the show, probably 10, 11 years, it's the first time a mom and dad showed up. That's pretty cool. That is really special. So I won't forget you, Elizabeth. I will not forget Elizabeth Alves. Gabriella Ortiz, how are you? Good. Welcome to Women's Business. And what school do you go to? Nathaniel Green. Nathaniel Green, too. We have two students in Nathaniel Green. And what grade are you in? Third. Third grade. Second youngest person on women's business. These young girls are starting younger every day. I love it. I totally love it. This is great, great, great experience being on television. I'm proud of you all. I really, really am. Thank you. And who's your teacher? Miss Sermian. Yes. And what's your favorite subject? Math. You're a math, too. So if I do 4 plus 4, do you got that? Eight. Yeah, pretty cool. Really cool. And mom, dad, brothers, sisters? My mom. Your mom, and she's here. I can see the smile. It's so nice to have a mom here today. My dad's a pastry chef. A pastry chef, where? In. Do you have a lot of pastries? Tree, um, tree house. Oh, yeah. Do you have a lot of great pastries in your house? What's your favorite? These chocolate cookies that my dad made. Oh my God. They were chocolate cookies, but then um, white chocolate chips inside. Wow. That sounds exciting. Wow. Yummy, 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 yummy. A pastry chef for a father. Wow. That's and pretty cool. And then my mom's a teacher. Where does your mom teach? At Calcott Middle School. Oh, wow. So I bet you any money right after dinner. Hopefully when you go home from daycare, your homework's done. But if not, I bet you right after supper, you're definitely dinner, you're doing your homework, right? That's teachers, yeah. They're definitely parents in education, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, value it. It's great. Anybody you want to say hi to? Because I'm sure. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Great. So we have another question of you all, okay? What do you want to be when you grow up? Now, I told you about my high school picture, right? I said I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I was a teacher. I'm still a teacher. I wanted to be a business leader. I'm a business leader. 
and dramatics. I'm doing my dramatics today. So three things I picked when I was 16 years old, I became. That totally interests me. Not that you have to be that in the future, but if you really had to guess what you want to be when you grow up, what do you think that would be, Paige? Well, either I want I would want to be a photographer. Wow. Or like a judge on like something. Like Judge Judy? No, because not they like judge that. Paige. No, not um, like that, but like a judge, on, a judge on like America's Got Talent or X Factor or The Voice or something like that. That's fantastic. Well, when you get the CD of this program, you're going to put it away. About 20 years from now, pull it out, and you could definitely be sitting there being a judge. That's a great vision. That's a great goal. Follow your heart. Follow your goals because it can come true. Definitely come true, especially if you get the education and keep your eye on that. It will happen for you. So tell me what it would be like to be a judge oh. on those shows. What do you think that would be like? I think it would be really fun. Like, I don't really know. Really? Do you think a lot of people will be writing you text messages or tweets? In other words, if you're a judge and you don't, they don't like what you judge, do you think you might be getting text messages? Oh, yeah, like yeah. a lot of hate. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> I just want to get prepared for that because people are always ready to say some negative things about people, even though they put their heart and soul into what they've done. Absolutely. <coughs> Yeah, absolutely. So, Elizabeth, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? No, because there's so many options out there. And what are some of the options that you have? I, I'd love to hear the options. I don't know. Let me give you some options, see if you agree, yes or no, okay? Would you like to be a teacher? Mm -hmm, maybe. Maybe, so that's a possible. Would you like to be an astronaut? No. No, so you know that. Would you like to be a business owner? No. Would you like to work at Dunkin' Donuts and make the donuts? No. No. I thought you would say yes on that. Would you like to be an accountant because you like math? I don't think so. I don't think so. One more thing. Would you like to be a lifeguard? No. Okay. So you do know what you think you might want to be, and you, might, you definitely know what you don't want to be. So maybe next time we talk, next time you're on the show, you'll have some idea and give it to me. I'd love to hear it, okay? Gabriella, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? I don't, because there's so many other choices that you can pick, like being a teacher, a yeah. singer, a dancer. Do you sing at all? In my house. That's good enough. Absolutely. Can you see yourself someday being a singer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She would be judging you on America's Got Talent, so I think you'd probably win. So someday, can you see yourself being a singer? I guess. I guess. Do you dance? No. Not no. that much. I no. used to take ballet. Wow, that's very graceful. That's very, very graceful. Absolutely. What else do you think you might want to be when you grow up? Mm. Pastry chef like your dad? No. No? Anything else you can think of? How about with you like math? Do you, can you think of an accountant job? Do you ever mm. think of accountant? Do you know what accountant is? Do you know what it is to be an accountant, anyone? I've heard of the word, but that's good. Yeah, it's a tough word. I just thought about that. An accountant is someone who sits in a business behind a desk usually and all the numbers for the business everything to do with the money they spend how much they take in they balance it they do plus and they do minus and they come and give you the worth of the business and they'll say even though i own my own business my accountant will say mary and you can't buy that the, this year it doesn't really match with the books that you have so they actually keep you in financial um alignment which is pretty cool because I could go out there and spend and spend and spend. I just love that. That's like a lot of fun to me. The more crayons I can buy for kids, the more um, games I can buy for kids, the more educational things. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on those catalogs every weekend. So sometimes my account will say, Miriam, you have a budget. And the budget is you only can spend this amount a month, this month on educational things. Pretty cool, huh? So it's, it's, a, it's a really good profession, telling people what they can spend. Yeah, yeah, because we need a budget for everything. Now, speaking of budgets, I have a question. Did you all get what you wanted for Christmas? Or did your family put you on a budget? How does Santa Claus handle all this? Good, I guess. What did you ask for for Christmas? Um, 
really all I wanted for Christmas was really clothes. Clothes? And um, there was this book I wanted. A what book? Um, called The Pointless Book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. It looks super. I can see that smile, so that looks like it's something you definitely wanted. Absolutely. I, I almost cried when I got it. Really? Why? Why the tears? Because it's by um, one of my favorite YouTubers. Really? Mm -hmm. I just really wanted it. Oh my gosh, isn't that great when you get something you really want for Christmas and it shows up underneath the tree? Mm -hmm. I don't care what age you are, it's just a really good feeling. It really, really is. How about, is there something you wanted that you did get? Yes. Yes. Um, I wanted Just Dance 2015. But actually, um, since I got money for Christmas, I'm buying it with my money. Okay. So going back to the accountant, you're able to put that in your budget and buy it for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a good decision. Sounds like you really wanted that and you got a goal to get to that. Yes. Elizabeth, what did Santa Claus bring you? He brought me a mat, two games, and two Razor scooters. Really? Are you happy with that? Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Gotta love the magic of Christmas. Is there something you wanted that you didn't get? Yeah. Oh, what is that? I wanted a, a beam, like a gymnastics beam. Oh, and yeah. Like a trampoline and then a bar. So and I got the mat. Really? So you got the mat. So that's the beginning, right? Do I hear like a gymnast? Do I hear that? So, hey, that could be what you could be when you grow up. Could be a gymnast or a gym teacher, huh? And what do you like a lot about the balance beam? I don't really like the balance beam. Oh, um, it's my not favorite. Oh, it's your not favorite. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you said you wanted the beam. What, what, what did you want? The, you didn't want a beam? I'm sorry. I wanted a beam, but like, it's not like my favorite. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, but you just wanted it, right? Yeah. How about the trampoline? Where, where were you going to put that? In your bedroom? No. <laughs> Outside. Outside, yes, absolutely. And what would you do with that trampoline? I would do flips. You would do flips? Do you practice flips? Yeah. I bet you I could see you flipping. Make sure you definitely have some someone keeping you safe, though, too. That's important. you got to really know how to do those flips. Cool. Gabriella, what did you want for Christmas and what did you get? I got everything on my Christmas list. You did? And what was that on your Christmas list? I wanted a guitar. A guitar? I hear music. I hear dance. I hear singing. Now I hear guitar. There's definitely some type of music in your life. I can hear that. Are you um, going to take guitar lessons? I don't know. You haven't known that. Figure that out yet. I what wanted else? a guitar. I wanted I, I wanted a, a hundred twenty pack crayons. That's a lot of colors, isn't it? Yeah. And wow. it comes with a little Crayola man. Oh yeah. So yes. you can sharpen. I love it. That's pretty good. Could keep them real nice and sharp. Do you like your crayon shop or dull? What? Do you like your crayon shop or you like them dull? Dull like means they're not sharp. I like them sharp. You like them sharp. Do you like your crayons sharp or not sharp? Sharp. Sharp. Do you like your pencil sharp or not sharp? Sharp. 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 Hey, come on. All five. Ready? Come on. Do this, really. I, I'm, I'm with you completely. There's nothing that drives me nuts when you go pick up a crayon or a pencil and it's dull when it's not sharp. I have to have that point. I can see you with that little Crayola guy just sharpening those up. Absolutely. Now, is there something that you wanted that Santa didn't bring you? Mm, no, I I got why I, I get why I didn't get the roller skates because then next year yeah. when I get to use them, they might be too small. On Absolutely, me. yeah. Santa's always thinking. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You seem to be okay with that. Absolutely, absolutely. I like to always talk about pets. I don't have a pet right now, but I had a pet for many, many, many years. And most of my pets were dogs. And then at the very end, I had two cats. So I've had cats and I've had dogs. But I'd love to hear if you have a pet. Mm -hmm. Do you have, I'll start over here with Gabriella. Gabriella, do you have a pet? No. No? Have you ever had a pet? I used to. There you Her go. Her name used to be Tulip. 
Tulip. I love that name. Because my mommy loves tulips, so we named her Tulip. It's a beautiful, beautiful name. And if you could have a pet today, would you want one, yes or no? I would like a dog. You would like a dog. And what type of dog would that be? A Yorkie. A Yorkie. We've got to figure it out. Fantastic. Fantastic. And how about you, Elizabeth? Do you have a pet? Yeah. You do have a pet. And what is your pet? He's a Australian Shepherd. Wow. I see a big dog there. Is that a big dog? Um, I don't know if he's going to grow up to be big. Okay. And what's the dog's name? Lincoln. Lincoln. That's a cool name. That's a really cool name. Do you love your dog a lot? Mm, kind of. Kind of. And I have a question. Who feeds it? Be honest. Our grandpa. Your grandpa. Who takes it out to go to the bathroom? Grandpa. Grandpa. And who gives it a bath and takes care of it? Grandpa. Oh, get me that grandpa. If I could have your grandpa in my house, I'd have a dog. That's like too good to be true. They have everything you need about a dog. Dog's been very well taken care of and will get a lot of love from me. That's a good grandpa. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah. Now, do you have a pet? Yeah, I have a cat named Roxy. Roxy the cat. Yeah. And who, um, who's cat? It's like in every family, it's like a family animal. Yeah, it's but it always animal. tends to go to one family member. Who is it? Um, well, because my cat scratches a lot, except it never scratches my baby brother. And he's the one who's always all Picking over it. it. Yes. It tends to go for your brother. Yeah, absolutely. And who feeds the cat? Um, we all take turns doing Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's kind of a family unit put mm -hmm. together. And who, well, one little cat, you can let them out and go. Is your cat staying all the time? What? Does your cat stay in all the time? Is yeah. it able to go out? Yeah, most no, cats. not able to go out. Yeah, most cats say stay in a lot, which is really, really nice. Really, at least you know exactly where they are. Isn't animals a great, great pets, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, kind of. you're not convincing me. Why not? We'll just. Because he scratches you? Yeah, I like cats. Okay. Hey, that's very interesting. So if you had a choice, what animal would you have in your house? I want a baby pit bull. A baby pit bull. Do you think it would get bigger? No, I want one that would stay small. Okay. So you'd want one that would stay small. What would you name it? I don't really know. Haven't thought of it. What, Roxy? Yeah. <coughs> think Roxy would like it, a baby pit bull in the house? Or no, I'd get rid of the cat first. Okay. Okay. I get your feelings about cats. <laughs> okay. After school, school's been out, right? You're on school vacation. Mm -hmm. It'll be great to go back pretty soon because education, if I can tell you anything, you future business leaders of America, you future women in business, you future moms, aunts, the number one important thing I can really give you for today's show, education. It's very, very, very important that you continue your education. Rebecca, who's doing the camera and behind the scenes on the board, her and I are writing a book all about children and education. Continue to get your education. And that will get you to where you want to be as a judge and also where you always want to be when you make a decision. Education is a key, key component. So I personally love school. I think it's the coolest thing. Now, I know you're on school break, and that's a great thing too because relaxation and break is a good thing. But typically, when school's out, I know a lot of you have got a kids club or doctor mm -hmm. daycare, so your school day is extended to help you out with your help you out with your homework and help you out with your school studies. But what do you typically like to do when school ends and you're in the after school program? What do you like best? Mm. What do I do at Globe Park that you like? Do they have the jewelry making yet? No. Okay, it's coming up then. Not much really. Not one thing you could think of? Okay. What do you like to do after school? Was it I like to watch YouTube. You like YouTube, huh? Fantastic. And Gabriella, what do you like to do after school? Color. Color with those crayons, huh? Does um, Dr. Jake have a lot of colored crayons on? They have not much, like, big crayons. They have broken ones. Well, I'm going to tell you, you know, we talked about that accounting. We talked about that budget. Well, I'm going to talk to my account, and we're going to get some nice new crayons. How's that sound? I definitely will put that on the top of my list, okay? Because it's very important that we have those sharp crayons, correct? I'm on it. I am totally on that. 
Is there anything you would like to see after school? What would you like to see after school? What do you mean by that? Like an, when you go to an after school program, what would you like to see in the after school program? Hmm. Anything you can think of? No, nothing really. Maybe a photography club or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, clubs separately. Clubs, yeah, like a t photography club type of thing. Well, Rebecca's listening to you, and so is it Craig, so we'll see if we can. Kelly's here, she's listening too. So some of these things we can put into place, absolutely. Elizabeth, what would you like to see after school? What special thing would you like to see? Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts. If anyone's out there selling Girl Scout cookies, I'm buying. Let me tell you, keep that in mind. Just call me and I will buy a, a package of two Girl Scout cookies. Gabriella, what would you like to see after school? What special thing would you like to see? Besides shop crayons, what else? I want to see. It'll be a miracle if there's then outside and then a nice show goes. Okay, I will definitely keep that in consideration. Absolutely. Last question, we gotta do it real quick because the show's ending in like Two minutes. What is your favorite food? Iced tea or mints. Iced tea or mints. And no one can make the iced tea, correct? So you can make your own iced tea. So it's not like a meal, right? You just like drinking yeah. iced tea. Great. What is your? I don't have one. You don't know, like pizza or a prime rib or lasagna? That one thing? I like some things, but not a lot. What, what are some things that you like? If you could have a special dinner tonight, what would you ask your mom and dad to make? Ice cream. Ice cream. I don't know if that's so much a dinner. That could be dessert, but I can understand. I'm glad you shared that, okay? Gabriella? If I have a special dinner, I want my mom to make rice and my dad to make the beans. So rice and beans. Patelito. Oh my God, that sounds like delicious. Wow, absolutely delicious. That's a great meal. So the rice and beans with your ice cream for dessert and iced tea for drink. Sounds like a good meal to me. I want to thank you very, very much for volunteering to be on Women's Business. It really means a lot to me. And Rebecca, I promise we'll get you a CD and you can keep it forever and ever and ever. And I hope 20 years from today, that you look at that CD and see if some of these things that we talked about came true. Can you do that for me? 